coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Flirty unveils the future of drone delivery. Silent Air, a one-ton cargo delivery drone unveiled in London. And Air T UAS performs damage assessment in the Bahamas. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned. In partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. In an event last week at the National Press Club in Washington, D.C., Flirty unveiled its advanced drone delivery technology aircraft dubbed Flirty Eagle. The company also released a much anticipated first video of its drone performing consumer and automated external defibrillator deliveries to customers' homes. Flirty's system is designed to safely get packages to customers with a delivery goal of less than 10 minutes. The aircraft designer and manufacturer also unveiled the Flirty Portal, a sophisticated takeoff and landing platform that enables scalable store-to-door operations and an autonomous software platform that enables drones to deliver safely to American homes. Flirty's aircraft is designed to operate in 95% of wind and weather conditions, reportedly making it highly reliable for flight. Flirty estimates last mile drone delivery is over a $100 billion market globally with current technology. Autonomous drone delivery will reduce the cost of last mile delivery, which represents 53% of total cost of delivery. Flirty says it's on course to conduct drone deliveries to U.S. homes as early as 2019. Now, let's take a quick look at some news making rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. It's time for today's Unmanned Minute. DJI announced a solution development partnership with Dubai Police to test and deploy DJI drone technology as a tool to aid its public safety professionals. The agreement marks DJI's first partnership with a police agency in the United Arab Emirates and will provide the Dubai Police with access to new drone technologies, training, and support to promote safety and security in the nation's largest city. Volocopter has signed the first closing of its Series C funding round, which is being led by Geely Holding. The new funds will be used towards bringing the Volo City aircraft to commercial launch within the next three years. Volocopter remains in discussion with additional investors for a second closing around year end. Leonardo has been selected by the UK's Royal Air Force to support the next stage of their research and development program. The study will explore the current threat posed by hostile drones and how this is likely to evolve in the future, as well as evaluating a range of technology that could form a future RAF counter drone capability. The program is expected to last three years and will commence in early 2020. Raphael Advanced Defense Systems LTD has completed with its partner, Mr. Avicii Stolero, the acquisition of Aeronautics LTD. The deal is said to be finalized in the coming days and Raphael will hold 50% of Aeronautics, with partner Mr. Avicii Stolero holding the other half. The move comes as part of Raphael's long-term strategy to evaluate and implement new areas of growth, including by M&A of unmanned platform companies. Now back to the rest of the news. Yates Electro Aerospace Corporation debuted their Silent Aero GD2000 cargo delivery drone at the Defense and Security Equipment International Show in London. Silent Aero is a production-ready one-ton autonomous cargo aircraft, which delivers up to 1,631 pounds of supplies at less than half the cost of J-pads. With more than double the glide ratio, improved landing accuracy, zero vertical impact force, and with far greater stealth. Designed for military logistical support, Silent Aero's tightly integrated packaging with spring-deployed wings, transported inside the fuselage, high standoff distance, and low costs have led to military contracts with the U.S. and allied foreign governments, special operators, as well as aerospace and defense companies. Silent Aero is designed for fixed-wing and rotocraft deployment of critically needed supplies cargo and fuel under austere operating conditions and timeliness. Members of the Airborne International Response Team have joined with members of the Southeast Florida Region 7 
all hazards incident management team to survey damage across the hardest hit areas of the Grand Bahama and Abaco Islands following Hurricane Dorian. Using UAS, the team conducted damage assessment operations at the University of the Bahamas, northern campus, and nearby neighborhoods that were hit hard by the deadly hurricane. The combination of massive storm surge and fierce Category 5 winds was more than most structures could bear. Equipped with high-resolution camera systems, the UAS are helping to map the hardest-hit areas of Marsh Harbor and other towns in new ways never before imaginable. If you would like to volunteer or donate to ART's cause, you can do so by going to art.ngo slash operations Bahamas. And that wraps up this week's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. For more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned, head over to aubsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.